Greetings, friend. You will never believe which fantastic strategy actually cracks the Sudoku. To get there, I'm going to take a different approach to solving this puzzle while also revealing some fun facts about our Friday featured setter Turganus. You need to watch this whole video. You'll probably miss one of the critical solving steps. Click below if you want to give it a go. And with that, it's solving time. So what I'm going to do here is actually do the modern software approach. There's a lot of advanced strategies required to get through this. It's a visually appealing puzzle. It kind of looks like a big man, right? So I'm going to really quickly put in all the candidates. So when you put in all the candidates and go back from there and do eliminations, that's called the modern software approach. Uh, and it's going to be helpful because, again, we need several advanced strategies. It's probably easier than me adding all these as we go along. First thing you'll notice, obviously, is there's a naked single one here. And yeah, you can see that there's a four or five, six, seven, eight, nine, and column three, and a two and a three right here. So that's pretty easy to see. So we can solve that, which will allow us to solve this cell for a seven, this cell for an eight. All that would have been pretty easy to see if all these marks were there. The other thing you probably notice is you see how these two sixes come across here in rows two and three. There's only one place left for a six. So that's a hidden single six. And if you look right here, you'll probably see another hidden single. It's because of these two sevens. Seven across row three, that is a hidden single seven. And so now we can get rid of these ones and leave just an eight, nine right there. If you want to look for another hidden single, see if you can find one here with the twos. Yeah, we got two rows one and three coming up, column five and so that's a two it takes a little while to adjust trust me this is going to be a quicker way of solving this puzzle uh, if i didn't do all this then it, it you'd see me just kind of filling all these in and Turganus, he he let it be clear that he was making a hard puzzle that required several advanced strategies and that's the key this is not a one stepper but you're going to love it the end the fantastic one you have at the end is so worth it you really are going to love it you got to stick around to see that all right because of this seven those can no longer be sevens because of this eight. That's no longer an eight and that's no longer an eight. And now because of this one, we can get rid of the ones here and we're getting a time to use our first advanced strategy. Okay. And this is a really cool one and it's a single uh, candidate strategy. It is an X wing and you, you look right here, you see a, quite a bit of restriction in columns three and column nine. And so what do we have right there? The candidate two, right? And so if we mark those in purple, what you notice is either twos there and there or there and there, right? They have to be one of those two spots because in this column, they're limited to the same two rows. That is an X wing, which it means is we can limit all the other twos along rows four and row seven, because you put a two over here, then you eliminate these twos, and then for columns three and nine, you'd have to put a two in the same uh, the same row, and it wouldn't work, you'd break the puzzle. So we know we can eliminate that right off the bat. All right, and so what does that mean? It means that I can get rid of all of these twos here, and these twos, let's see if there's any other twos right there. So I can get rid of all those twos. But what does that do for this block, right? It actually allows us to solve a cell. Because the two's no longer here, you'll notice there's a 1, 7, 1, 7 uh, naked pair. It means this can no longer be a 1. It has to be a 2. So it, it's a nice little solve. And it's pretty cool. That's the first advanced strategy. That is an X-Wing. Before I move on, if you want to receive reward puzzle packs and exclusive content from setters like this, check out the pinned comment below to join the Smarty Party. Okay, after that, we can now do an X-Wing with a different digit. Let's look at the ones here, okay? Uh, first, I'll make sure I clean up all that the twos there. Okay, let's look at this one. Uh, where can the ones be? And you want to see, did we just create another X-Wing? Yeah, and not only did we create an X-Wing, we actually create two strategies. I don't think I've ever seen this in a puzzle before because you're going to have an X-Wing right here. So column six and nine, the ones are limited to the same two rows, right? And we'll put that in purple. But what Turganis also did is if you look across row three in columns th uh, one, four, and seven, 
excuse me, one, four, and nine. What is that? That is a swordfish, okay? And a swordfish is a three by three. So in these three columns, or three rows, actually, rows three, six, and nine, the ones are in the same three columns, columns one, four, and seven. This is so cool, and I've never seen it. So we're gonna solve both different ways. Uh, I'll try to just do the X-wing first, and then we'll come back to that swordfish. Okay, so with this X-wing, what this means is we can eliminate all of these ones, because like I showed you with the twos, the ones can't be in any of these extra cells outside the purple cells. So we eliminate all those ones right there. Now, let's do our swordfish. And I'll use yellow since that's what I already used. Very cool. Very cool stuff. And see, your goal with the modern software approach is just to kind of eliminate these candidates. This is what we want to do. So with this swordfish... Uh, You'll notice, you know, in the same way that the the ones are limited. If you try to take a one outside of rows three, six, and nine here in the columns, you'll end up breaking the puzzle. And you know, I can show you that real quick. If you put a one right there, then those wouldn't be ones. And then now you have three places, you know, only two places to put a one in three different. Uh, rows and that's not going to work so if you put a one right here let's say you just actually put a one there then you eliminate a one from here and here oops get rid of those ones and then you look and go get rid of the one right here but then for rows six and nine you'd see that the only place you could put a one would be in the same column column seven and that would break the puzzle we have no other place to put the ones so that's why the swordfish works before I make all these eliminations, if you're just not familiar with how swordfish do work, I did make an advanced tutorial about swordfish. I put a link to it right here. I want you to go check that out. And while you're at it, subscribe to Smart Hobbies, and you'll solve these advanced strategies even better. Okay, so let's remove all these extra ones. So you're looking up in the columns. These are called the uh, cover sets. And you want to remove all in any of these extra ones. We know those can't be solutions for those cells because of the swordfish. Nice, and I love this. I love how Turganis put this. And the idea here, what Turganis is doing, is he's exploring these strategies. He's trying to put them in a neat way and see what can you do with a classic Sudoku. Now, that didn't lead to a direct solve, but it will lead to a solve here in just a second. So let's go up here. Let's clean out some of these other digits because I had marked this 8 right here, and then because I had marked this 7 up in block three, I gotta make sure that I'm covering all those extra digits to get rid of that eight right there as well. Cause I don't wanna confuse you about what I'm about to show you. So this it's really important because now we can look for another strategy, a little bit different. Uh, it is kind of considered an advanced strategy, but it's something you can probably maybe pick out without having all the candidates figured. But it's important that you do find this at this step. This is a naked quad. And so what it means is the digits one, three, eight and nine are limited to the same four cells here in column seven. They can only be in the, you know, those are the only candidates that can be in those four cells. So you know the one, three, eight, nine have to be in those cells. And let's, let's do green, okay? And so you so you have to have a one, three, eight, nine in there. Otherwise, you won't be able, you have enough candidates to fill the cells, which it meet, tells us, though, is that we can eliminate the one, three, eight, nine from every other cell in this column. And this is great, because what does that do for us? Well, now you have anything else in here, you can actually solve this cell for a five. I love that. And you gotta find this intermediate step where you're not gonna be able to set up the next advanced strategy. So let's remove all these fives that would be seen here. And you can move a five from those two cells. And this is really helpful for us. And this reminds me of an analysis video I did of a Simon Anthony solving a puzzle with multiple advanced strategies. Like, when is this ever going to crack? This is what this puzzle's like. I'll put a link to that analysis video at the end. You do want to check it out. You'll learn a lot about these advanced strategies. Okay, after doing the naked quad, um, another thing you do is now in naked quad is you can actually look for a naked triple. So let's remove... 
these colors and you go over here and what you might notice is if we remove this six from these cells because we solved the six right there what you have is a four eight nine naked triple and i'll go with uh, let's go orange right so four eight nine unlimited right there so there's a lot of close type symmetry in here and we're not done we got so many more strategies great content here you're going to just love it keep keep watching so we can eliminate the 489 from every other cell the other way you could have looked at this is you could have looked at uh the these two cells and notice that one and two could only be in this cell and this cell in column two and gone for a hidden pair but i thought the naked triple was a little easier to see when i first saw this one so that cleans up quite a bit and now what you'll notice is you have a this 48 naked pair right here in the block and when you have that four eight naked pair you can get rid of the four and eight uh anywhere else within block seven and now we're going to do some cleanup down here and get to our next advanced strategy if you notice right here this is a one two by value cell and then down here and here these are also by value cells and so the candidates one two and three are in the three different types of pairs that are possible a one two a two three and a one three this is the pivot that sees these two pinchers this creates an X, Y wing, okay? And what we know with an X, Y wing is that if this is a one, that'd be a three. If this is a two, that'd be a three. So any cell that sees these two purple cells, you can eliminate a three. And this is great stuff because it's gonna help us make some more eliminations, all right? So we can eliminate a three from down here and we can eliminate a three in any of these two cells. So we can eliminate a three from right here as well. And before I remove the colors and move on with the solve, I do want to give you my fun fact about Turganis. So Turganis is usually a quick setter. He's won some speed setting competitions. I know Mean Rister holds some of those. He's placed in a few more. Uh, he can get a puzzle done between 30 minutes to two hours, which is kind of normal. Or sometimes he spends almost three days working on a puzzle. Uh, but there's been some exceptions. He says he's had worked longer than that. I'm always curious how long it takes to set these puzzles in a maze when setters can do it in less than like 30 minutes or so. That's awesome. All right, let's remove these colors. And we'll move on with the solve. Okay, the next thing you want to do is we're actually going to have another really cool advanced strategy. And the reason we set it up is when we eliminated the three from this cell right here. So this strategy, it can be seen two ways, but I'm going to show you the, the cool way that I think you'll really appreciate is as a W wing. All right. We love W wings and it's not even the main strategy. This is a great one. And I, and I, I love featuring these, but it's not the only one. So with W, you have to have the same by by itself. All right. So you got a six, seven here and you got six, seven there. And then one of those candidates has got to be able to link these through, it's called a strong link, which means there's two of them. So this is have to see one of the candidates. So it does see a seven right here, which comes down and sees this seven right there. And then, and then it comes back and sees the second cell, the other end cell. So what does this mean? This means that either this cell here is a six. If it's not a six, it'd be a seven. Then this cell couldn't be a seven. This would have to be a seven. And then this cell would have to be a six. So either way you look at it, one of these blue cells has to contain a six. All right, this is a great advanced strategy and it's awesome that we see it right now. So we can eliminate a six from any cell that sees both of the blue cells. And so we're gonna be able to eliminate sixes from these two cells right there. And we're gonna be able to eliminate six from these two cells right here. And this is important. It's going to set up our next advanced strategy. We're not done. And it's not even the fantastic one we have at the end. But keep paying attention because we're getting close. If you're just not that familiar with W wings, I do want to share with you my W wing tutorial. It's very helpful in figuring out how these things work. I'll put a link to it right here. You can check that out. But let's remove the colors and we'll move on. And I try to find you the quickest way to get this puzzle where the advanced strategies build upon each other. And so I do my best, but you notice there's just so many that are required. If you want to solve this puzzle logically, and it's great. It's like a playground of advanced strategies, and I just love it. All right, the next advanced strategy you want to look at is now down here. All right? And because of this cell, we are going to be able to make this happen. And so what is the advanced strategy? It's an X, Y chain. Whenever you get a lot of BVC, so by value cells, 
usually they'll tell you that a x y chain is going to be helpful for helping you solve this puzzle so we want to start here in this cell and i'll go back to uh let's use some green all right and what you want to do is you want to link this up with another cell that contains an eight and so we're going to find a path a chain that connects this cell to this cell so the basic way an xy chain works is you think you know there are two possibilities for a cell it's either an eight or it's not an eight if this is an eight then any cell that sees this you cannot have an eight you can eliminate an eight right if this is not eight this would have to be a one this would have to be a seven because it can't be a one anymore this would have to be a four and then this cell would have to be an eight so that is an x y chain and so what we're saying is that either this is an eight or this is an eight and we just prove that logic so we can eliminate a from any cell that sees both the green cells this is awesome i love x y chains and all these strategies they are advanced but once you get the hang of them uh, you'll start to see them more and more in puzzles like this so we can eliminate an eight from right here and we can eliminate the eights from up here because they see both of these green cells and this is means we're going to be able to do some more great solving i love this but we're not done keep paying attention we're getting closer though we're starting to make more progress and what i like is Tragans does give us a little bit of progress with each strategy that you find here so we now know that this has to be a four which makes this an eight and then since this is an eight and this is a four now we can eliminate the four from right here uh, which leaves only one place left for a four in block nine so we can solve that for a four and now i'm going to look do we have any more things we can solve yep we can actually solve this cell for a three now because there's no other place for a three and then you got this one five down there nice and that sets us up and then let's look up here now we can solve this for a nine solve this for an eight nice and with this nine now we can eliminate all these nines great we can actually solve this cell for an eight all right we can get rid of the eight right here and you see how we're just making a lot of progress now with this one nine one nine okay you got a two six seven remaining okay that's cool we can come over here with this nine and solve this for a four because i can't be a nine anymore and solve this for a six uh so we can get rid of the six here and you got to do a lot of cleanup as you're making these marks or else you'll you'll get behind on the on the cleanup part that's a tough part of the modern software approach if you use something like Hudoku, it'll just eliminate the candidates for you immediately as you solve but we still want to you know use and be able to do this on our own so you can find these advanced strategies using a uh, an app like like sudoku pad here okay not out of the woods yet but we're making great progress and we want to keep this up there's actually another xy chain you need to find you have the quickest way to kind of get to the end and it's going to start right here when we solve these fours we made another bvc all right and we'll use it uh let's use this green again okay xy chain this is a nine this is not a nine this would be a three this would be a two then this would be a one and this cell right here would be a nine okay so we know a nine has to be either there if it's not there it's going to be here we can eliminate nine from any cell that sees both of those so another x y chain this is great stuff and what it allows us to do is eliminate a nine from both of those cells no other nines there no other nines here and we're going to be able to make some more solves can you see there's a naked pair now of one three so we know we can actually solve for the nines right there so let's solve this for a nine as soon as i get out of color mode and we're going to be able to solve this cell for a nine awesome so we got a one two three here we got uh one two five six seven up here and now we can solve this cell for a one solve this cell for a nine we're going to be able to solve this for a three and a nine up here so we're making again we're starting to really clean up this puzzle okay and we can get rid of that one so that's a three four can we do the, any better with the three four yet i don't see that we can make any more progress with the three four okay we're getting to the, my one of my favorite strategies again we've used it before in this puzzle we're going to use it again and it's really cool all right uh, and it's going to be the same pivot cell but with a different setup instead of with the one two three now we got a one two seven i love it Terganis, i don't know if you planned this but the, this is amazing we're using the same strategy x y chain but in the same pivot but different pinchers right so if this is 
uh, if this was a one, that'd be a seven. If this is a two, that'd be a seven. So you can eliminate a seven from any cell. It sees both of those. We can eliminate a seven from right there, and we can eliminate a seven from right there. Nice. And what does this do? It's going to allow us to make more solves in this puzzle. Awesome. Awesome. And I just can't get enough of how great this sets us up. Okay. Let's uh, do, let's remove our colors and we'll get our solving going. All right. So this has to be a six now. Hopefully you saw that, which means this can't be a six anymore. And then you can eliminate the six from right here. Uh, what else can we do? With this nine up here, that's no longer a nine. So we can actually make this solve for a nine, which is nice. And so now these fives are a pointing pair, uh, which means fives can't be in any of these spots. And this is really going to set up really now. You're going to love what we're about to do here. Uh, you look here, where can a six be? It can only be in one spot in row eight. So you know we can solve that for a six. And then we can solve this for an eight. Nice, and we eliminate the eight from right there. Uh, no other places for a six. Getting really close to what I wanted to show you. And now you see there's no sixes in row four except for this one spot. So we can actually solve for a six right there. It allows us to eliminate this six. And then we got to do a little bit of cleanup here in block five, all right? Because of this one, this can no longer be a one. And then you'll notice there's only one place for an eight here in block five because it's a hidden single eight and it has to be right there and this leads us to our last amazing fantastic strategy you're going to love the thing you have to notice is that we have all by value cells remaining and i'll get rid of these fives to kind of show the point except for this cell right here all right when you ever have this situation when you got all by value cells like for one cell at three cans this is called a by value universal grave plus one strategy. And this is fantastic. It's also known as bug plus one. And what it means in short terms, you can take a shortcut and immediately solve this cell. I can tell you what that cell is without a doubt. But if you're just not sure and you're like, hey, that seems like cheating, um, guess what? I, I got a way for you to validate this because a bug plus one does require that the puzzle has a unique solution. And the reason why you can solve it is that if you didn't have the parity, then what would happen is, you know, you could have basically two solutions to the puzzle. You know, this could be a five or a seven, this could be a one or a two, but with the bug plus one, there's one of these cannons that sticks out and goes, okay, we can solve for that. It means we know that has to be the case. So to validate this, let's look at our old friend here, the X, Y wing. And if you'll notice, this XY wing looks just like the one down here. But you can do this to solve without using the bug plus one. You could go right here and go, okay, where, you know, if this is a one, that's a seven. This is a two, that's a seven. You can eliminate a seven from right here and right there. Once you eliminate the seven, you can solve that for a four and continue solving this puzzle. So we know that that's an, a, a way to do it. Always focus on solving around the cell with the three candidates and you will always have another way an alternative way of solving bugs with blood plus one but it's just not as cool and before i get to the actual solve uh remember these three candidates uh, xy wing is the simplest form of xy chain which i showed you quite a few of so if you're not familiar with how xy chains work strong weak links uh, why they have to work out that way. Where do you find them? Check out my XY chain tutorial. Very popular on my channel. I'll put a link to it right here. And you will solve these and find these that much better. All right, let's move this. So what we know is the shortcut is you look for whatever candidate appears in the row or the column or the block three times. And hopefully you notice that that candidate is a seven. Seven three times either way. So you know you can solve this for a seven. Once you solve this for a seven, you will see how easy this puzzle is to solve. Because like what the name implies, by value universal grave, you just end up taking every single BVC and solving it. And they disappear just like that. That's five. That's one. That's three. All right, let's 
keep focus on here. I don't need to talk while I'm trying to do some solving. That's a five. All right, what do we got here? We got this one. So this is your seven. That's going to be a three. That's going to be a two. Okay, with this three going up here, that's four. That's three. Awesome with this four. That's a five. That's a four. And this is your one. You need to watch this other video if you want to learn more fantastic strategies. Thanks you, Turganis, for being my Friday feature setter. And thank you so much for watching.